So, Katie Holmes just gave a heartfelt tribute to her Dawson's Creek co-star, Obi Ndefo. You know, because nothing says I care like a public statement. I wonder if she posted it while waiting for her coffee at Starbucks or maybe during a yoga session. Either way, it's the thought that counts, right? She described Obi as having a vibrant personality and big heart. In Hollywood, that's code for, he was the only one who didn't make me get his coffee. Seriously though, it sounds like Obi was genuinely awesome, at least in comparison to, to those divas we often hear about. Katie's tribute included all sorts of warm fuzzy phrases you'd expect, like big heart on and off camera. So he wasn't just acting friendly for the show. Imagine that, a genuinely nice person in Hollywood. That explains why he stood out. It's a rare species. Can we take a moment to appreciate that Katie probably had to dig up a photo from the 90s for this tribute? The effort. I mean, it's not like there are photo albums just lying around. There's a good chance she convinced Siri to find it. Thanks, technology. And you know the world is truly mourning because nothing screams modern day grief like trending hashtags. Hash Rip Obi, Katie Holmes, and Dawson's Creek are making the rounds. I'm still waiting for the day someone trends, I can't believe it's not butter as a tribute hashtag. Her heartfelt message must be resonating, or maybe people just love any excuse to reminisce about Dawson's Creek. Either way, next up in the Kardashian news cycle, Kim saves a pigeon. Seriously, Katie's tribute is actually a refreshing break from the usual celebrity drama. So here's the million dollar question for you. How do you think Katie felt when she was writing that tribute? Was she genuinely teary-eyed or just checking off a co-star tribute box on her to-do list? Let us know your thoughts. Like and subscribe, please.